Uh, let's talk about health care, the, 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 the status of health care in the Philippines. Sa U.S., sa United States, naging, uh, na, nagkaroon sila ng deadlock sa U.S. Congress over yung Obamacare. No? Now, uh, from, from, my, from my research, itong Obama Health is, uh, is uh, a, a Democrat, a, a Democrat uh, law, no? so yung partido ni President Obama, which the Republicans uh, think is too socialist naman. So, in other words, uh, pina, ipinapasa sa balikat ng iba yung healthcare ng, na, though siguro with less in life. No? So, depending on what your political leanings are, that can either be very good or very bad. Kasi, sa, that will also mean more taxes for a lot of people, no? for, for those, who, those who earn. Ngayon sa Pilipinas, siguro let's not talk about uh, any new taxes no? dahil kasi uh, it would be hard to defend increasing taxes when you know that uh, your, your, uh, your tax money goes to the president's DAP or your uh, legislator's uh, PDAF. No? So that's it's the worst. It's political su suicide no? on uh, on the part of the administration, uh, or even the legislative uh, legislative branch. No, pero uh, there is such a thing as siguro charging a person a certain amount for his own health care insu health insurance. No, siguro either ibabawas mo sa like yung feel health natin dito. Pero siguro, make it available to more people. Kahit na hindi dun sa mga professional, siguro dun sa mga, uh, kahit mga rank and file, just, just uh, make healthcare affordable to that particular person. Wala nang subsidy-subsidy siguro. No? Y yung ikaw, yung pinagtrabahuhan mo, siguro uh, yung concept of health insurance uh, dapat ma ma-realize dito sa atin. So, you guys in the medical profession, what do you, what do you think of that? Um, for me personally, mm -hmm. right now, the moves of the government is actually towards social health insurance. What we have as field health, pero uh, they're pushing it for universal health coverage, meaning everybody has insurance. In Obamacare, that you mentioned, parang the, the law requires everyone to purchase an insurance. So, parang or that, else, eh. Ito, uh, binabasa ko rito. Eh. Uh, Kung hindi, uh, may multa. May multa. Uh, Pero dito sa Pilipinas, ang um, insurance, pag nagkatrabaho ka, automatic may feel health ka, di ba? Mm -hmm. And yung feel health, you can avail, for example, um, baka benefits niya, mga hospital ka, you can deduct a lot of, parang siguro 50% of your the cost of hospitalization. Tapos, they're also moving towards uh, parang paying it at case rates. Yung parang kumbaga, yung prices ng, ng mga procedures like appendectomy, will be based on a set price by the field health. Ganito lang babayaran ng field health. Tapos, mag-force yung mga precisions. Yung mga specialist, medyo nagwawala kasi parang nalilimit yung practice nila. So, we're moving towards covering more people through sometimes may nagsasubsidize tayo. Sinasubsidize natin ang mga may hirap. Yung mga tinatawag nilang poorest of the poor. Oh, hindi mo naman kasi pwedeng hindi gagamutin eh. Di ba? Uh, yung iba. Uh, hinga ng deposito pagpasok sa certain hospitals. Uh, eh, eh, ano gagawin mo? Dapat Mapanawin bawal. Mapanawin mamatay yung tao. Hindi. <laughs> dapat. Okay. So, ikaw, doktor. Uh, nakikita ko sa'yo, doktor ka, pero mukhang may konsyensya ka. No? Eh, pero, pero <laughs> marami eh, naman po ang doktor. Na marami, <laughs> marami naman. Marami naman makaibigan, doktor. Mga kamag-anak pa akong doktor. Pero nakikita ko na yung, yung, yung doktor, uh, yung medisina at least, yung mga nakikita mo may mga uh, dambuhalang billboard dyan. Hmm. Parang, hindi uh, <laughs> ko na sasabihin kung sino. Hindi <laughs> ko na sasabihin kung sino. Pero ano, uh, ang, ang basa ko parang business na. Pa, mm -hmm. uh, gano'n ba? Nagiging gano'n ba? I mean, uh, for the, uh, I mean, uh, down the line, I, I hope it's later, uh, it's, uh, it's later, no? rather than uh, sooner. Pero, lahat tayo mga ilangan din tayong doktor, no? Pero, uh, is it becoming a, uh, a, a business, uh, ano? rather than, 
a career and an advocacy. Uh, it's a service, no? It's a service. It's a yes. service. And, and unfortunately, hindi, hindi naman, hindi tayo komunista, hindi tayo socialista. Na. Okay. Diba? I, I mean, for some reason, uh, we're in a free market economy. And for every service that you render, you get paid for you get it. Paid, uh, uh, so there, there comes a point that you have to look at the values of the society. Mm -hmm. Kung ano ba talaga, health, health is a commodity or health is a right. Sometimes we have to decide ourselves and the government must decide na parang ano ba talaga ang tingin natin sa health and access to health. Mm -hmm. If we decide that health is a commodity, health is a service, then it becomes a bit business. It becomes it's a legit. A, uh, it's a seller's market. No? Uh, oh. Meaning to but say uh, if we say that health is a right, that every person is born in this world has a right to good health, then we, we balance that interest of those people providing a service with the balance that the people who are actually need the service. Yeah. Ako, I'm all for uh, for uh, the free market, no? Dahil kasi dyan mo mapipiga talaga yung creativity ng tao by giving them, the, allowing them the incentive to, to be innovative, to be creative, to be proactive, no? Pero pag, pag, uh, uh, pinapasok na natin, o no? pag napag-uusapan na natin yung, yung health, no? Health-related, kagaya yung gamot, sa isang taong mahira pero namamatay o yung uh, hindi natatanggap sa ospital, parang sa tingin ko medyo out of bounds yun. Eh, no? Kailangan dyan talaga pumasok yung gobyerno para kahit na pa pa paano maayudahan yung mga nangangailangan. Dahil pag may ita may nakikita mo, nangingisay na isang tao, sasabihin mo pa na ano, nasaan yung, yung insurance, nasaan yung, yung uh, may pera ka ba para pampagamot sa isang spesyalista. Um, parang very unchristian na rin. Eh, no? Kung, anyway, uh, we have some uh, questions from our viewers. This one is from No Name again. Uh, pero we wish you, uh, pero we hope that you give at least your first name and where, where you're from. No? So, how long has the project been running? If the interaction between two doctors is done via text, mabilis ba ang reply? Uh, depende siguro kung saan. No? Kung, kasi minsan may lag yung, yung, uh -huh. yung okay. So, anong sagot nyo doon? And the, the, that system has actually been running for uh, since 2008. Parang the parang yung parang seas of that, and then we have the National Talal Center, National Talal Service Program, mm -hmm. in 2011 until now. Um, our procedure is that the text messages must be answered within 30 minutes, mm -hmm. at least. Parang yung turnaround time maximum. Kung hindi siya ma-answer, magrep uh, iba pasa siya sa next doctor in line. Mm -hmm. So that's our parang threshold. No. Misa nakakaroon ng problema kapag yung connectivity or yung network coverage is poor. Minsan, di ba, bumabagal yung dating yung text messages natin. Kasi kunyari, yung pasyente inaatake sa puso, tapos te-text yung, yung kung sino man yung, yung umaayuda, no? yung, yung tumutulong. Sabi, mahirap sabihin, uh, Sir or Ma'am, sandali lang ha, antayin ko muna yung reply dun sa Maynila ah. bago kita magamot. Eh, yung, yung tao. At uh, saka, <laughs> we don't advise na to use a service for emergency cases. No? So, more on y yung mga, okay. Oh, I salute doctors like you who volunteer as doctors to the barrio more power. Yun. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Good PM, sir. Nagustuhan ko. Anyway, anyway, ng pagpopromote nyo ng e-health, malaking tulong sa mga kabayanan, uh, kababayan natin malayo sa ospital. Maraming salamat sa ano, plano nyo. Okay, maraming salamat sa inyo. Okay, this one is from Roland of uh, Marinduque. Roland of Mar Marinduque says, Gandang gabi po, tanong ko, dapat po ba pag may pasyente sa ospital at gumamit ng uh, ambulance, eh, may iya pa, kailangan pang bayaran eh, sa government naman po. Hindi <laughs> 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 ko alam. Eh, ah, ah, ikaw ang doktor, so ano. Depende. Uh, al alam ko dati yung uh, nagkaroon kami ng pasyente binayaran talaga yung ano yung, yeah, yung actually um, medyo mahal. Ang problema kasi sir na nakita ko before, usually may ambulance ka nga pero wala kang pampagasolina. Wala yung wala kang budget yung hospital mismo Port for Port Barrel lang yan. <laughs> yun. 
ko kung siguro yung mga mambabatas eh mag uh, maglalabas na konting pera diyan pang, kung pang gasolina lang mula Maynila siguro hanggang Saipan kayang-kaya kung kukunin sa pork barrel. Anyway, Mario okay. ng uh, Malungon, Malungon Sarangani. Okay. Kay ano, kay Congressman na uh, Pacman, no? Mario One ng, of the uh, sites ng Arches po ang Malungon. Nang one of the project sites ah, ng Arches. Okay, Sarangani. Malungon. Nabanggit nyo ang uh, tungkol sa uh, art sheets, ano po ba ito at maari ba itong magamit sa buong Pilipinas? Okay, yan from Mario, taga Sarangani. Malungon. Okay. Ang art sheets po, like I said, is a mobile phone reporting and also looping in the referral system from midwife to the doctor. Uh -huh. Tapos, aside from that, our concentration is maternal and child care. By the way, the project is supported by UNICEF. Globe, Johnson and Johnson at saka OSAID. So yung talagang importante no yung yung prenatal care no yung Apo. prenatal care and child care immunization kasi, kasi medyo mataas pa ata ang ang infant mortality natin sa bansa At saka po maternal mortality. Para ah, ano, nangyayari pa ba yun? Kala ko sa Opo. <laughs> sa, sa mga It's a big problem yung... actually of the Philippines. One of the Pero, pero sa, sa mga malalayong lugar yun no? dahil kasi dito Even sa here Manila, in Manila po. In Quezon City, in in Manila, in Pasay. Is it attributable to poverty? O, o talagang minsan, swerte-swerte lang. Some people have poor health and others. Madami po talaga is about poverty. Okay. Okay, on that note, guys, I, I'll give you the floor to to uh, deliver your parting shots. Henry. Okay. So, we at the National Telehealth Center um, aims to provide quality health care for all through ICT. So um, I think one of the good things about this show is that we were able to reach a lot of people because not everyone knows about eHealth. Mm -hmm. So at least, um, thank you for having us as guests here mm -hmm. para naman malaman naman ang ibang tao ang about eHealth. And yes, we're gearing towards eHealth in the Philippines. So lahat ng doktor siguro, they, they should take note. No? Yes. They should join the 21st century. Okay. <laughs> Doc James. Uh, thank you for this opportunity to actually talk about Arches and all the programs of the National Telehealth Center. We at the National Telehealth Center is committed to providing information and communications technology for health and achieving equity in healthcare. So our mission really is to use our technology for the people. Okay.